God gave me a dream about Dwayne Michael Carter Jr. Professionally known as Little Wayne, he is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, and record executive. He is commonly regarded as one of the most influential hip-hop artists of his generation and often sized as one of the greatest rapper of all times. Little Wayne launched his solo career with The Block Is Hot, 1999. The title of the track was a big hit, and the album reached the top of the hip-hop charts, featuring appearances by member of the Hot Boys, as well as the Big Timers, Brian Williams, and Manny Fresh. The recording went double platinum. Welcome to my channel. My name is Savannah Kirkland. Here is where I share everything about frugal living, homestead, and gardening. I also have occasional dreams that God give me that I share. I recently shared a dream about Kirk Franklin. I think that's something you really should check out. So if you're interested, I will be leaving the link below. Before I start the dream, the Lord want me to express to you guys that he loved Little Wayne. Little Wayne is not too far gone. I pray that you guys receive this dream gracefully and that God will touch your heart. Then you will intercede for Little Wayne's soul. Second Peter 3 chapter 10 says that he is patient with you not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. You guys do not have a hell to put him in and you do not have a heaven to put yourself in, okay? So please have compassion and love of the Most High Yah and intercede for his soul. I woke up in my dream in a neighborhood. It was totally dark. I seen a group of guys on the corner and I seen a group of guys down the street walking towards the guys in the corner and I was instantly scared. I didn't know what was going on. It was like huge abandoned homes. You can tell that the drug dealers had taken over the abandoned homes, but they were huge and beautiful homes. I was thinking... What is Wayne doing in this neighborhood? But he knew these young men from childhood and he felt safe. He was there to purchase drugs from these guys. After the transaction, little Wayne stated, okay, I have to go. I'll see you guys later. And the guys was like, no, come inside the house. Big homie want to let you hear his music. So Little Wayne was like, tell Big Homie that I will get back to him later and um, I really have to go. So the guys wouldn't take no for an answer and they was really trying to get Wayne in the house. So Little Wayne was being respectful. So he was like, okay. And he went into the house to listen to Big Homie music. And I would like to say that the guys that was with Little Wayne initially they knew what was going on, what was the plan. And the guys that he met there that he purchased the drugs from knew what was going on. The guys in the house knew what was going on. Everybody knew the plot and plan against Little Wayne except for Little Wayne. So he walked into the house and the scene changed. Once again, I found myself in a location that I did not want to be. I was in a room full of police officers and they were discussing the amount of blood they found in that house. They had done a DNA test and they found out that it was Little Wayne and that he was famous. They was trying to figure out what was this famous multimillionaire rapper doing in this neighborhood. But of course, as I told you guys earlier, that he was there to purchase drugs. Little Wayne is a drug addict. He has been for many years. So he wanted to buy a certain amount of drugs secretly. So this is something that he did over time was meeting up with these guys and they he trusted these guys. Okay. So 
the police officers was trying to figure this out. In the dream, I got a little too close to the police officers because they were talking low. It was a secret. No one knew that little Wayne was dead. They was trying to do some research first before they actually announced that little Wayne was dead. So one of the officers turned around and he said to me, what are you doing? I would arrest you for interfering with police business. So I backed up. I was scared. I had my hands up and I backed up. As I backed up, it was another lady walking forward towards the police officers. And she stated, I know where little Wayne's at. I can help you find him. So the police officer said, what do you know about little Wayne? How do you know he's dead? She said, well, I am a psychic. I already see in the spiritual realm who killed little Wayne and where his body is. I can help you find his body. As this lady was speaking to the police officers, I instantly discerned who called this lady, Toya, his first child, which is Regina Carter. Right now, she's going viral on YouTube because she dating another famous YouTuber named Armand. You may or may not know who she is. Her mother name is Toya. And right now, she's going viral on YouTube because she just got married. And out of all the women Little Wayne been with, this young lady love Wayne the most, okay? All the women he's with now because he's with more than one, she love him the most. But you guys, her love is not as a boyfriend or husband. It as a family member. She love him very much and she do not play with him. She keep in contact with him and she noticed that she haven't heard from him for a few days. So her and her mother, which is Regine's grandmother, decided to contact this psychic to find out what was going on with little Wayne. So the psychic informed them that little Wayne was dead. So they asked the psychic lady to go to the police officers to assist him to find his body and to find out who killed little Wayne. And then a scene change. You guys, this is the third time in this dream. I found myself somewhere that I did not want to be. I was like, Lord, you know, I cannot swim. Okay. But in the dream, I found out that I can swim and I can breathe underwater. So this is what I saw as I was going down into the water. I saw a vehicle. I went all the way down and I touched the vehicle and I said, Lord, is little Wayne in the trunk of the vehicle? Because I couldn't take my eyes off the trunk of the vehicle. And he said, yes, little Wayne is in the trunk. So after the Lord said, yes, I start floating back up to the shore. And as I was floating up, I can hear the psychic telling the police officers, where to find little Wayne and that his body was under water. She stated to the officers that they killed little Wayne inside the house and then they put his body into the trunk of the car and drove the car in the ocean. She also stated who ordered little Wayne's murder. I already knew from the beginning of the dream because it's my dream. But I want you guys to guess who it was. Not like this is a game, but who do you think want Little Wayne murdered? Before you look at the comments or before you answer, jot at the bottom who you think it would be. Because if something like this go down, I really believe that it's this person. It's no other than... Put some respect on my name himself, Birdman. Birdman controlled Little Wayne, mind, body, and soul, and emotions for so long. Little Wayne looked at him as a father figure, and Birdman looked at Little Wayne as new booty. And 
he knew that he had control over Wayne. Once Wayne grew up, of course, he wanted his freedom. Birdman didn't like that. So it cost little Wayne a lot of money and his health. He went into a great depression. He also started using drugs. And you can see the results of, you know, why he looked so bad. Um, also, he's obsessed with Lil Wayne. He sees that Lil Wayne is functioning without him. He felt like Lil Wayne owe him the, the he felt like Lil Wayne owe him the air that he is breathing. Okay, this man is crazy. <laughs> so he ordered and put a stack of money on his head and ordered his murder. I'm not going to edit this. And um, the young man that was what the young man that was with Wayne and the young man that was in the neighborhood, they all loved Wayne. They did not want to do it, but they needed the money. And this monster took this man away from his family, his children, because of jealousy. And that was the end of the dream. Thanks for watching.